<laughs> this could be a really, really bad idea. We're just or a very good one. We're hanging out right now at our friend Jerry Rig Everything's office. That's why we have awesome bullet bikes and electric bikes and tons of bean bags because he loves bean bags. I was telling him a story about our Tesla. Did you see it? There's our Tesla right there. I got a nail in my tire just recently. I took it into a place called Discount Tire and I asked him, hey, can you guys fix this? Because they fix flats for free. The guy came out and said, sorry, we don't do it for Tesla Model Xs because Tesla has some sort of proprietary run flat or something inside of the tire. They just didn't know how to do it and they didn't want to mess it up so they said no to me. But as I was telling this to Zach, he's like, there's only one way to get inside of a tire. Let's do it. <laughs> so here's the Tesla. I don't know if we published the video yet, but we have our logos on them. It says what's inside on it. I like the front one. And we've got one on the front that is cool. It's a little, it just rained on it, but that is so cool. And we just raced our Tesla. We tried to go as fast as we could. Zach came with. Anyway, that video should be on our family channel. If we publish that video, we'll put it, a link right here and you can go watch it. All right, Zach, is this dangerous? Yes. It depends on how much like air pressure the tire has. If there's too much air pressure inside of the tire, it might explode. But if it's normal air pressure or less than normal air pressure, it should just hiss a lot and not explode. Do you have experience slashing a tire? I don't think I'm allowed to answer that on camera. <laughs> People are totally convinced that Zach is a hitman. And I would think maybe a hitman would slash tires sometime. I mean, so it's kind of surprising that Dan was not able to get his tires fixed because normally if you get a flat or if you get a puncture in the tire in the top part of it, it is super easy to fix and most places will do it for free. For free. Now, if you get damage in the sidewall of your tire, it is super dangerous and super expensive and irreparable. You cannot repair damage done to the sidewall of a tire. Mm, that's interesting. I did not know that. All right, you ready for this, Zach? Yeah. You might want to put some safety glasses on according to your explosion <laughs> statement. <laughs> Eyes are important. Safety is priority. What is it? Second priority? It's, it's, First in, priority. it's in the top five. It's in top five. Yep. See, Lincoln knows the drill. Perfect. <laughs> After we flatten this, you'll probably just end up having to buy a new Tesla. So, uh... That's a joke. He's making fun of me because I made a video about my tires being bald and got rid of my Tesla and I got eaten up on the place that loves Zach and hates me, Reddit. Wait, so is this the biggest knife you have? This is one you do for cell phones, but for a tire, is that the biggest knife you can muster up? I think I have a, I have one more. Do you keep your big knives in your truck? You never know when you might need one. What oh. the heck? That's not a knife. That's a knife. No idea what you're talking about. You never seen Crocodile Dundee? No. Let me know in the comments if you've seen Crocodile Dundee and you understand that reference. Back to the video. So, if this tire is overinflated, it's gonna explode and I don't want that to happen. So what I'm gonna do, this right here is called the valve stem. And so if I take this off and hit this little point right here. Boom! Yeah, we want an explosion, Zach. Okay, okay. This is the last chance. Are you sure you want to do this to your own Tesla tire? I want you to do this to my own Tesla tire. <laughs> okay. You got this. All right. Go for it. This is so sketchy, guys. There's like layers inside that I'm slowly getting through. Should I just try to stab it hard? <laughs> Covering it up. Not anymore. <laughs> Honestly, did that you get cool. a bit, were you afraid a little bit? It, it, it was a little bit louder than I expected, but like, it was, it was cool, that was awesome. <laughs> that was surprisingly loud. Look at that. Oh yeah. All right, we're, this, this tire is dead because we got the sidewall. New car or new tire? Oh, look at that knife. Nice. Do we dare drive it like this into your garage? Yeah, you're fine. Well, you don't want to drive long term on a flat because it damages the sidewall but since we've already destroyed the sidewall, it doesn't matter as much. Right. And it's just right there. It's just close. Zero PSIs, tire pressure very low. Check right rear tire pressure. I'm surprised it doesn't say, there may be a giant knife stuck in your tire. Should we take the knife out or leave? Yeah, no, leave we're good. In. Are you serious? Yeah. I don't know why Zach thinks this is a good idea, but I like that he likes this idea. Oh man. Oh. <laughs> Look at that. There's a big old mark from it. One thing that's cool is the Tesla does have a jack suspension button. Zach doesn't believe me, but it's here. You go, well, I know the tire's flat. You go to suspension and you push the jack button. 
And look, the tires come off on the picture. I wish it was that easy in real life. <laughs> yeah. That went up like seven inches. Oh, that's, that's awesome. Impressive. But can your Toyota do that? <laughs> My Toyota is already high. <laughs> that's true. The first thing you have to do when changing a tire is leave the tire on the ground because you have to unlock the lug nuts. And if the tire is off the ground, it's going to spin freely while you're trying to twist off the nuts. All right, Lincoln, we got the tire off. Take a look inside of that. So here's the shocks right here. We've done a video on shocks before where we jumped the car. The motor is right in the middle. This yeah, I see it. It has like all those weird lines on it. This is the dual motor. Now the Roadster, do you know how the Roadster engine's gonna work? Is there four, four motors. Three. Three motors. Three motors. So two in the back and then one in the front. So this is a dual motor, two. The Roadster's gonna be three. For my black shoes, probably should wear the white pants. Okay, watch out, Lincoln. I'm heading that way. So Dan has 10 fingers right now. And we'll see In how many he has afterwards. Subtraction Says everyone on every video. <laughs> <laughs> that cuts really nicely. It's brand new, actually. I've had it for three years and never used it. See that? <laughs> you try it with your muscles, all your big muscles and stuff. Done. We're just trying to like stab it in. Just get it in there. Stab it. What? Nope. That's totally a GIF right there. <laughs> Angle grinder versus Tesla. We knew we'd come to this someday. Oh, that thing. That is nasty. <laughs> That's so nasty. Could have just taken it off the wheel off the rim, probably. This works though. Yeah! Now we're moving and we're smoking. Look at that. Here is the reason why a discount tire would not change our tire. Come check this out. There's a giant section. You can see foam go around the entire tire. <gasps> I know you're proud of yourself on that one. For all of you that work at a tire shop, just know I talked to Tesla Service when we had that problem with discount tire where they wouldn't change our tire and they said, that's kind of ridiculous. You can go to any tire shop and all that you have to do if you're fixing a flat is you cut out a section. So you would get a knife and you would like come in probably with a razor blade, cut out a section of the foam where the flat is, you flip it open, you repair the hole, and then you just get some glue and you just glue this back on. All the professional YouTubers you see have sound up on their walls to keep like the echo down in their rooms and they're recording. Mm -hmm. I have some in my office and I imagine this does the same thing where just like the foam on the inside of the tire keeps the sound from like echoing out of the tire, I guess. That's I a good know. point. A Tesla tire is unique. It is a quieter ride because they put this in here. I'm not sure how much quieter it is, but it's gotta do something. Yeah. Oh, thanks Jerry Rig Everything for helping us with this video. Lincoln, back away from the truck. Why do you have so many bean bags? I did have like a theater set up with this huge white wall and it was pretty nice. Yeah? Just didn't use it as much as I thought I would. Now we're moving and we're smoking. Look at that. 